June 3rd, Monday, 3.30 in the morning. We have Comet 12P and Lippus. The one I said, Devour and Quick. That's my interpretation of it. And here we have an interesting event in Taurus. In the horn, we have the sun and Venus. Venus should be going behind the sun in a little bit, I think. In a little bit. We also have Jupiter and we also have Mercury and we also have Uranus. All in Taurus. Over here, uh, there's going to be an uh, astronomical event here. The moon and Mars in Pisces. I'll cover that later. So that's where we have it right now. Now I want to take a look, quick look, at the other visitor. Okay, this is Comet 2023 20, A3 Tusicon Atlas. Probably pronouncing it wrong, but that's where that it's at. That's going to be our October surprise right here. Or September to October. Okay, this is from Belgium. I know June 2nd, it said it was the nearest approach. This right here, June 2nd. But if you look at this, the distance to planet Earth is still the same. We'll take a look at that. And also, interesting numbers right here as of today, June 3rd. 1, 1, 1, 1. So it's still the same distance as it was yesterday. And I'll show you the 3D graphic on it. This will be my 7-2 video on Comet 12P. Here it is right here, right underneath the sun. Here's Earth and Venus is, as of today, behind the sun. I think Space Weather has an article on it. I'll check it out later. But it's directly under the sun. And we still, as last I reported, anti-tail. In other words, it's still connected to the sun. I'm a strong believer in Thunderbolt Project about the electric comet theory and the electric sun theory if you really want to delve into the this the matrix of all this i suggest you check out thunderbolts project i'll leave a link below there's tons and tons and tons of data and information that corroborates other studies done from space agencies i mean when they were more open when they had spacecrafts that they showed us data there it is right now it's still close to the Earth. So we got a lot of things happening today. We got the alignment of the planet today also. And there's other things happening today that I cannot right now report. But just take a look. I got a three o'clock wake up call. So we have the distance 1.546 AUs, which is rounding it off of 144, rounding it off. It says 143.7 100 million miles away from Earth. Now, if we look at the 1.111 AUs from the Sun, we're looking at 103 million miles from the Sun, comma 12P. Now, heading over here by JPL, uh, this, this, this bogus, this is in the 8,000, but that's another story. Let's check out the orbit. Okay, looking at the 3D orbit from JPL, they have it at 000 on June 3rd, which approximately is about our time. It will be like, mm, I'm just guessing, 5 p.m. Sunday. But this fast forward it to now. Okay, right here we hit the one hour. So now we're gonna forward it one hour. Okay, we got it now at right here, 0700, which it makes it midnight on the third Eastern Standard Time. Okay, right now we have it at three o'clock Eastern Standard Time, uh, which is 10, 100 UTC time now I'm going by seven hours I might be off by one today is still the closest to the earth now when we start separating you ask okay it separates at this time right here 0600 UTC time let's say around approximately 11 o'clock p.m. today when it starts to separate this is when comet 12p start distance itself from planet earth departing slowly now let's take a the recent images and see what's happening up there let's take a look at 12p how it's looking today okay taking a look at comet watch facebook let's see what we find okay this is from michael yeager one of the best this was taken on june 2nd posted 10 hours ago let's take a look look at this straight beam towards the sun Remember, it's underneath the sun. Let's zoom in a little bit. See how far we could zoom in. Look at that straight connection. And here is the, the bluish ion tail, and that's the color right there. Bright. 
Okay, let's go down and see what else we see. This is a uh, Comet 23A3. That's going to be uh, interesting, to say the least. Okay, this one is from Rom Romero right here. Okay, I put a wow on her. Take a closer look at it. Beautiful. Perfect perfect anti-tail. Now, I've done a study on the anti-tails. Uh, one of the videos back so many on how many anti-tail comets there's been. I think total recorded history there's been eight so this would be the ninth if i'm i might be off one forgive me but i think it's the ninth comet recorded that had an anti-tail now since like i said since we don't have the data from um from the spacecraft observatory we've been blackout mode this is the first time i've ever encountered this so without 50 percent 60 percent of hardcore scientific data that you could add to the table on the table with a piece of puzzle i'm guessing all this is my opinion what i'm doing right now is it having an effect me without thinking without hesitating yes yes everything's connected electric universe everything's connected electric sun the electric ma magnetic field line so many magnetic line like what comet was it 90 i can't remember which one it was the one that broke apart and we had the spistler you know, show us the magnetic line 67p i think it was i might be off i don't remember sorry but it showed us the magnetic line the it's invisible and the spacecraft had a had a uh some sort of instrument i forgot the name of it that was able to show us the magnetic line it right in other words like in plain simple uh, layman's term like a railroad track and michael put this out 21 hours ago check out michael's image Look at the beauty. Look at all the stars. My God. Try counting that. It'll take a lifetime. <laughs> and this is just one teeny tiny section of space. Imagine. Um, <laughs> and remember, stars are suns. And how many planets orbit these suns. Amazing, isn't it? How God created the universe. I mean, you think you got it figured out, but you really don't. I mean, you'd be lucky to get 1% of the truth. But we know this. Everything's connected electrically and spiritually, energy, frequency, um, vibration, you name it. We're all connected. That's what I have right now as far as the comet. Comet is still until 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time when it disconnects. And we had three so far X-Class. Three. Okay, here's about June 3rd today. Venus will pass directly behind the sun. A so-called anti-transit. Here we go again with anti. Anti-tail, anti-transit, anti-everything. This is a very important verse right here. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their lands. Okay, this morning, on the 3rd, today, we have this alignment right here. So we have a lot, a lot of stuff happening up, upstairs in the heavens. A lot of things happening above. Now below, we got a lot of craziness, a lot of locura, a lot of blinded. Like Jesus said, in the, during the end times, they will have eyes, but they won't be able to see. They'll have ears, but they won't, able, they won't be able to hear. It's part of the end times, and, and you're going to see that like never before those that have the eyes and are able to see will see what's around them there will be those that will be blinded and still deceived by the d d and won't be able to see so the separation this is just me speaking it's my opinion my opinion only this is what i'm seeing right now without thinking the separation between the light and the darkness the light pe people whoever it doesn't matter where you're from or who you are or what country what religion it, you are and i know you're gonna have debates this this is all intended to debate we're spiritual light beings here to witness this we're here to experience this we're here to, to see and try to do as much good as possible but there comes a time where god's gonna say enough is enough lights out and he's giving us warning because he's so loving and patient he's giving us warning he's waking us up we know what time it is we know what time it is Remember, vibration, frequency, water, molecules, atoms, God particle, you name it. Everything is affected by your thoughts, your prayers, everything. Like, for example, the more negativity, the way God built this, it's amazing. 
the, it's amazing how God put this together. How how people are easily deceived. This is this is I saw this. I was freaked out when I saw this. So easily put a mask on. And you you couldn't even tell. Put a little makeup hair around there, glasses. And it it's amazing. Deception, people. Soon, the sword. Yeah, I see comments like sword. Like I'm just visualizing this as I right now as I speak. Connected with the sun. And this here. Another one. I give me. I'll leave you with I'll leave you with this. <laughs> This is funny. Watch. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna do done the sun and politics. I'm gonna get into politics. Gotta have to get it. Gotta get into politics. You cannot. You cannot ignore. You cannot ignore what's happening. Remember, we're going through the test. This is a test. Nothing but a test. What's happening now is a test to see which way we're going to go and if we fail the test i don't see remember a lot of the revelations the hopi the fatima every single one converges converges to this right here you're going to get a lot of deception remember they control everything they control everything they control your tv they control media they control the radio they control we are controlling transmission they control everything everything you gotta put shields up people are gonna get deceived we will control the horizontal be advised heads up shields up prayers prayers change everything the molecules the water everything sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear this is what's happening right now we've been forewarned back in the 60s and there was another video that we will be forewarned dark skies i don't know if you guys remember they show only three episodes the outer limits until next time